Welcome tonight to Music for the Master. We're so glad that you could tune in. Uh, we're happy to have a friend and uh, brother that has blessed me on many occasions with his songs. And uh, Bruce Carroll, welcome, Bruce. Thank you, Jane. Good to see you. And uh, we had a great time last night at our church. And the night before. And the night before. And it's been so good, I asked him not to leave. <laughs> But either way, you're in for a treat tonight, kind of a little bit of a historical walk down Bruce's musical journey, and uh, so I am actually going to ask a few questions tonight and have Bruce share some songs that I think will touch your heart and life, help you to think about some of the things we go through as Christians. And so with that, uh, Bruce, I would like to... Uh, just let you know, last night, one of my favorite songs was I'm Still Here. Oh, good. Great. I Thank you. I'd like to fa ask how you wrote that song or, or really what inspired it, uh, but it, it really, to me, it was really heart-touching, and I, I really you know, keened in on the words last night. And uh, Well, uh, I actually co-wrote that with a friend of mine named uh, uh, John Elliott. And um, we just got to talking about how God loves to invade uh, situations. Um, you know, of course, we're not able to get out of life without going through trials and tribulations. And um, we just started, started talking about situations that we were aware of personally and, um, and how God's in the middle of all of it. And he'll never leave us, never forsake us. So uh, that's where we ultimately came up with the title, I'm Still Here. And the uh, scenarios that we wrote about uh, were actually based on the lives of people that we were personally aware of. And so it was written as a song of encouragement. Uh, even if you're not going through, even if someone is not particularly involved in situations and circumstances like that whatever it is fill in the blanks god's in the middle of everything and and we can know as christians that he's still here always is that's great well, well why don't you play that song yeah and thank you for explaining that. sure it's three o'clock and school is out he should be going home but the anger he knows waits for him Chills him to the bone The words from all the times before Echo in his mind They've left him feeling so unloved They make this young boy cry He goes into his hiding place tries to get away as he lifts his fists to heaven it's then he hears God say I'm still here oh I'm still here no you have not abandoned though you can't see through your tears just know I'm still here another Sunday morning she drives to church alone while the man she loves is sleeping his life away at home With one hand on the steering wheel The other wipes her tears She cries out for her husband The same way she's cried for years She can hear him say you're such a fool And it's more than she can take so she gives it to the Father Cause she knows what He will say He's saying I'm still here Oh I'm still here 
No, you have not been abandoned Though you can't see through your tears Just know I'm still here Sometimes there are no easy answers Yet my promise remains true I may not take your trials away But I'll always take you through Cause I'm still here Oh, I'm, I'm still here No, you have not been abandoned Though you can't see through your tears Just know I'm still So much that was uh, just not only a beautiful rendition of what it means to have mm -hmm. God be faithful through tough times but you know one question people ask why does God allow <clears throat> trials and tough times over people and it's kind of interesting to hear different people share how they you know their their aspect of that well uh, let me answer that with this uh, I love Romans 8:28, and we know all things work together for good to those who are called according to his purpose. And uh, God uses those trials to uh, draw us closer to him. Uh, but the easy answer is we live in a fallen world. I mean, it wasn't meant to be like this. So God intervenes and... and uh, blesses us in spite of and takes those difficult times and actually builds our character, draws us closer to him so that we can get to know him better. Because it's during the tough times that that we uh, learn about his grace and his mercy and his provision and and his being active in all those tough things. I mean, when we're on top of the mountain and everything's going good, we don't even look to him normally you know i mean it's human nature to just forget about god when everything's great but when times are tough and they're going to be tough because we live in a fallen world and that's where we can press into him and see his faithfulness and see how real he is to get us through yeah i think that's a great answer because sometimes people ask why bad things happen to good people but yeah. really when you think about the human heart and you look at israel as an example hmm. when things were going well their heart departed from god yeah. And on many occasions, and God had to allow wake up calls and sometimes severe trial to get Israel to think about, hey, yeah. I'm the God that wants to, wanted to bring you to the promised land. I'm the God that gave you this land and so many promises. And, and it's amazing sometimes how people, uh, when they're on the mountain, forget the need for God and the depth of, of devotion and loyalty. That causes someone's heart to really stay, you know, fixed on the things of God. So I totally agree with that. Yeah, and, I do too. And uh, another song that I really enjoyed, especially uh, you played it in the Dells, was Shelter Me. Oh, thanks. And Shelter Me, my little take on it, it's, it's, it's to me a song that's between a hymn and a ballad, but... How did that come about in, in not only the writing of it, but how has that song affected your life? Well, it actually came about as a um, project on the Psalms that uh, I was on staff of a large church, and uh, I had challenged the pastor to write a 10-part series on the Psalms. And... Uh, I really didn't think that he'd ever do it, but he, but he did. And so I told him, if you did, I'll, I'll make sure that there's a song written, a brand new song written for every week. Oh, so, yeah. 
So when I found out that he was actually going to follow through with that, uh, I called a couple of dear friends, Billy Sprague and Joe Beck. And uh, we just kind of hunkered down, spent a week in uh, Nashville writing songs for this series. And one of them happened to be Shelter Me. And, oh, wow. And uh, as uh, the Lord would have it, it, this song came at a time when things were kind of hard for me and me and my bride and you know we were just going through some tough times and uh you know the psalms is are full of uh of uh, highs and lows and uh, sometimes uh when things are things are tough we tend to um not really take our place in who we are in christ and who he is in us and uh and during that during that process of going through the struggles and sometimes forgetting who we are, uh, all we can do is ask him to shelter us and hide us in the cleft of the rock and to cover us and get us through the tempest of our unbelief. Um, so that was where the song came from, and it ended up being one of my favorites on the whole record. And one that I was privileged enough to be able to sing and to be able to travel the country and use as a ministry tool for those who are going through difficult and tough times. All right. Thank you, friends. This song, Shelter Me. <laughs> when I cannot close my eyes and the night. Troubles taunt on every side And my doubt is strong Shelter me Shelter me Let the thought of your compassion Be my strength Prince of peace Shelter me from the tempest of my unbelief. Oh, mighty God, who calmed the sea, come and shelter me. Do your promise. Still stand, does your mercies cease? By the power of your hand, grant me my release and shelter me. Oh, shelter me. Let the thought of your compassion be my strength. Prince of peace, shelter me from the tempest of my unbelief. Mighty God who Come and shelter me Oh, come and shelter me Beautiful. You know, <laughs> I'm thinking when I'm hearing that song, uh, and especially the lyrics and that, but, you know, God calms the storms in people's lives. And I think people need to realize they will have storms. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in our country, there's sometimes a gospel of bad things don't won't happen to you. And yeah, if and, you if you follow certain yeah procedural uh, yeah <laughs> methods, yeah. But that song, you know, that we're not immune from not only trials. Sometimes 
faith testing trials that really right. just to the core of someone caused them to really have to dig deep. But I really appreciate that song. And after listening to that song, what is your favorite hymn and why? Uh, well, I've got a couple, but uh, I, think, I think my favorite one is The Old Rugged Cross because uh, it's articulated so well. Uh, especially the line, um, when my trophies at last I lay down, you know. Um, well, I've, I've won some various awards and I've got plaques and whatnot that, uh, that, I, that I've never really uh, been able to bring myself to hang on the wall or to showcase, uh, not out of some, some sense of... Uh, uh, you know, false pride, uh, uh, you know, it's just a personal thing that I, you know, the Lord did all of it, and, uh, you know, it isn't, it isn't about me, and um, one of these days, all that's not going to matter, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter now, but, you know, compared to his glory, and what he's done in my life, and what he continues to do in the lives of millions all over the world every day for those that love him, for those that know him. So, uh, you know, and like the cross, uh, you know, that he would do such a thing for me just so I could have a personal relationship with the living God. I mean, that's unbelievable. So, and it was the first hymn that I think I learned. I uh, came to Christ late and uh, I wasn't, really all that well acquainted with the hymns so when i when i heard that one it's it's so beautiful you know on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame and it's there that that cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain i mean from a songwriter's standpoint that's powerful powerful i mean how can you write anything better than that no, it's not only powerful, but endeared for the ages. Yeah. And uh, But when I hear the song, Shelter Me, I almost hear the same thought-provoking... Well, the spirit's in there. <laughs> ...thought-provoking resonation of oh, well, the man, lyrics. And uh, I want to ask another question and probe a song that I think has been endearing and really speaks volumes of the grace of God, Sometimes Miracles High. And okay. uh, that definitely is a song that we've heard it a couple times and I've heard it in the past over the years. But explain the meaning behind that song. Well, it's a true story song. Uh, uh, a couple of friends of ours were faced with uh, having their first child and uh, the uh, doctor let them know that, that, that the child was gonna have some major problems and that they should really consider having an abortion and they they of course being Christians and knowing that they serve a pro-life God said no way we're gonna let God be God and we're gonna love this child no matter what and uh, we've already talked about how God loves to take situations and circumstances that look terrible that look hopeless and he loves to turn them around for our good and for his glory and and so they stood up for their unborn child and it was a real blessing to see them do that and uh, worthy of a song to be written about it. All right, thank you. Sometimes miracles hide. They were so excited It was coming to be Two people so in love And now soon there would be three For many years they planned it now it would soon be true She was picking out the pink clothes He was looking at the blue The call came unexpected The doctor had bad news Some tests came back and things weren't right Said you're gonna have to choose I'll wait a week for your decision And the words cut like a knife I'm sure everyone will understand If 
you want to end its life Well, they were badly shaken But they just had no choice Cause they knew God creates no accidents And they were sure they heard His voice Saying sometimes miracles God will wrap some blessings in disguise You may have to wait this lifetime To see the reasons with your eyes Cause sometimes miracles hide Well it seemed before they knew it the appointed day arrived With eager apprehension They could barely hold inside The first time they laid eyes on her Confirmed the doctor's fears But they held on to God's promise Cause they were sure they both could hear that sometimes miracles hide God will wrap some blessings in disguise You may have to wait this lifetime To see the reasons with your eyes But sometimes But she was not like all the other girls But they thought she was the best And through all those years of struggle Neither whispered one regret And the first day that she started school And took her first bus ride They'd remembered the words that God had spoke And they both broke down and cried You see, to them it did not matter Why some things in life take place No, they just knew the joy they'd felt When they'd look into her face they learn sometimes miracles hide They said God has wrapped our blessing in disguise We may have to wait this lifetime to see the reasons with our eyes Cause sometimes Miracles high We've learned sometimes Miracles They hide That was beautiful. Um, just yeah, I mean, thank God for people that stand up for conviction and the word of the Lord, even when all the odds are against them. Right. And I, I really appreciate that song a lot. And um, one thing that I really kind of admire listening to the songs, but when you think about, I'm a writer as well, and you think about wrapping a melody around the lyrics that you want to really touch lives, but I would... I can honestly say God's given you the absolute melodies to back yeah. up the words. <laughs> well, thanks, bro. That's they very they nice they really do. It. They really do compliment. Coming from a songwriter like yeah. you, that's a compliment. I mean, that's that that's a sign God not only is in it, but it, it's also the ability to to for God to use music to reach hurting hearts. Is well, it's a powerful uh, medium, as you know, and. Uh, there's uh, 
you know, I like to, I sort of liken it to a lyric being um, wanting to wear a, a suit, you know. I mean, a lyric w will tell you what it wants to sound like if, if you have ears to hear, you know. And if you have that discernment, and uh, there, you know, I mean, I have to admit, early on, I was dressing some songs up in some pretty funny-looking clothes, uh, you know. So like, it's something that songwriters have to learn as well, you know. I mean, like a title. Sometimes, "Miracles Hide," for example, uh, it doesn't strike me as being a rock song. So you know, I mean, like I knew going into the room, you know, it wasn't going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like it was a ballad because it was a heavy story, but. Um, yeah, you know, uh, which is why I love what you do with the whole songwriting seminars and you're teaching people how to write songs. You, you, you teach them how to marry, m marry lyrics and music because it's essential. And, you know, it is, it is something that can be taught and something that can be learned. But thank you for that. Well, uh, hey, when you think about great painting, painters, that when you go into a museum and you look at a great painting, it just captivates you. Mm. And, uh, and it's the same with a song. It, it has that same resonance. Mm -hmm. you, go, you, you, you see the divine in it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, uh, I agree. So it's so great to have you on the show tonight. We're going to have you end with Walk On. Okay. And uh, we appreciate you being part of Music for the Master. And uh, we also want to thank the folks out there that tune in every week to watch the program. Yeah, thanks folks for tuning in. When the cold and lonely winter winds are blowing, we've got to walk on, walk on. If we press on to the end, we will be knowing for every dark. There's a dawn If we'll just walk on Walk on The world is heavy And the road is long And it's so hard to be strong And what you're longing for Might be around the next bend Don't give in when the cold and lonely winter winds are blowing We've got to walk on, walk on If we press on to the end we will be knowing For every dark night there's a dawn If we'll just walk on, walk on When you're out there walking with your head hung down Gotta lift up your eyes, look around There's joy in the journey Even when all hope seems gone Carry on When the cold and lonely winter winds are blowing We've got to walk on Yes, walk on if we press on to the end, we will be knowing For every dark night there's a dawn We'll just walk on, walk on There is a voice that speaks inside you It's saying someone's walking right beside you now He's always there so he can guide you Showing you how to walk on When the cold and lonely winter winds are blowing We've got to walk on, walk on If we press on to the end we will be knowing For every dark night there's a dawn If we'll just walk on, walk on We've got to walk on, walk on Thank you so much, Bruce. And I would like to also let the audience know, go to brucecarroll.com and uh, check out his music and 
if you're a church leader, invite them to come and minister. God bless you all for listening tonight to Music for the Master. <laughs>